Hi teachers, while we're on the topic of what goes in that foreground or that's inserted within Jamboard and what you put within your background, I want to show you a couple of quick tricks in Google Drawings. I love Google Drawings. It is only one canvas, but I love it because it allows me to create icons that have transparent backgrounds. And that's when you don't have the outline around whatever it is you're creating. And you can do that in Google Drawings for free. So one thing that you could consider doing in Jamboard is creating little sticker or buttons with all of your students' faces on them. They can then drag their faces to different parts on the Jamboard if that's appropriate for whatever activity. Obviously, students could really design their own unique button. It doesn't necessarily have to have their face on it. So I'm going to walk through doing that in a Google Drawing. And I've already inserted a picture of myself that I took and I'm going to use the crop tool because I love being able to crop buttons and stickers as circles. I think they look much better. So in crop, I am going to click the drop down and first I have my image selected. I'm going to click this little drop down here, go to shapes, and then I can crop my image as any of these shapes. Now, I need to click on the crop tool because it cropped it as an oval because my image was a rectangle and I want it to be a circle. So I am going to drag in the sides. I'm going to move myself out of the way there till I get that circular shape I'm looking for. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I want to move it a little bit to one side or the other, and I can do that by using the arrow key, and this just moves where my picture is within the crop. That's a pretty big jump. If I need to go real small, I'm going to hold down shift and use the arrow until I find exactly where I want it, and then I'm going to just click off in the white space. Now, I have my image and I'm going to move it over on the canvas because when you download this canvas, it's going to download the whole canvas and I don't want the canvas to be that large. So I'm going to take and drag in the sides of my canvas here. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll center this guy on the canvas so it ends up being centered. And I can always crop this image once I insert it, but I want it to be centered nicely. Now, I want a border. I want to make this look a little bit fancier. So I am going to come over and change my border. Let's see, 16. And I'm going to change a border color here. We'll do purple today. Now, that looks pretty cool, and that's, that's not bad, but I wanted to have that like double border that makes it pop even more. So I'm going to take and draw another circle around. Drag, drag. I'm going to get it. I'm holding down the shift key as I'm drawing my circle so that my circle ends up being symmetrical. It ends up being um, like a perfect circle. So I have that and I'm going to use control arrow or you can use command arrow um, if you're on a Mac to send this to the back. So it's in the back and now I want to change that fill color to white and then still I like that but I want a little bit more. So I'm going to change the border color on this. There we go. So I like that, but it looks a little funky on the picture. I think it has to do with the cropping not being a perfect circle. So we're going to drag it out just a tiny bit. Okay. And once I have what I need, I'm going to use that shift arrow to adjust it. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that it fits within the canvas. Okay. It's fitting perfectly within the canvas. I'm just going to label that as Leah. And then I'm going to download this as a PNG. 
and downloading it as a PNG will save it as a picture somewhere on my computer. And then I can use the insert image tool within Jamboard in order to insert that image somewhere in um, my Jamboard. If I were doing this with students and I wanted to create them, I would create one student at a time and save those on my computer. But if I have students create their own, I could give them a Google drawing within um, Google Classroom and set up the dimensions of the canvas ahead of time so that students know what amount of space that they're allowed to work with when it comes to their buttons or stickers and then you have them create and then you do the downloading and save it and then if you create a folder of all of those special buttons on your computer somewhere you can quickly upload those into your jamboard so then students would be able to drag those icons around um, for different activities 